Ooh, how good did it feel to be back? It felt amazing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just to be back on the floor, honestly, you know, I think everybody overall as a team, we just played phenomenal tonight. You can get closer. When y'all are going like that, I mean, uh, you know, just how fun is it? What do you learn? Go ahead, shooter. It's really fun when everything's rolling. Um, it just shows we put in a lot of work, and so when it finally rolls, that feels good, and it motivates us more. Yeah, you came in in the second quarter, and it just really seemed like you had a lot of energy, and were, you know, kind of doing things on both ends. I mean, uh, you know, is that kind of you feel like you're going to be your role just – an energy person off the bench? Um, yeah, I'd say I'd, I bring a lot of energy um, whenever I come in. But I love doing that, and I want to do that for my teammates, just to be a little bit of a spark if I can be. Um, so, yeah. Uh, on the offensive end, 6-6, six six, uh, it seemed like you kind of were attacking the rim, you know, at your own leisure. What was that? Uh, did you just kind of have that going for you, or uh, was it just kind of like you had everything working for you? Um, I think my teammates put me in really great positions to hit shots because they were wide open, so that was nice of them, and uh, it just felt good tonight. Sarah, it might get lost in a game where you scored 91, but y'all's defense just seemed like a good game and held them to 26 percent, held them to single digits in every quarter until the last. How, how much were y'all kind of in sync, I guess? Uh, we were, I think, like, that's probably some of the best defense I've seen us play. We were really dialed in. I think we paid attention to our personnel, and we were locked in. We knew we had to help each other and have each other's back, and I think, you know, we're going to continue to grow from here. Uh, I think it feels pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it feels pretty good. A little sore, but, you know, it feels better. Right after this, six for six. Golly, that's a hundred percent. Hey, you know, no, 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 no. That's a, no, no, no. That's about as best as you gonna get. I think it just happened, but I think, honestly, like, we're a team that plays best sometimes we're in transition, and we create offense sometimes off of these defense and still. So I think, you know, we'll get into that more, but it also comes with us getting in better shape and understanding where to be in the right spot, you know, just playing defense hard every possession. Oh, yeah, I think, you know, Coach Nikki said it, like, we have a chance. Like, we don't know how good we are at defense. Like, we don't know that, like, that's probably the best part of our game, honestly. You know, we're good at offense, but I think we're an even better defensive team more than what we show. Uh, you know, coming into it, we didn't take them lightly. We, Like you said, we saw what they did. We knew that they were going to come in and put up a fight with us, and we just really dialed in and locked in. And like you said, we knew on defense we are going to have to give them one shot. We knew Star was very slippery, athletic. She could, you know, get in and get out. It was like one of those things where we knew we had to help each other, be in the gaps and support, and only hold them to one shot. Thanks, Missed y'all. Thank you. Yeah, I know. I promise I wasn't sandbagging. Um, you know, I told the team today, I mean, I was up late um, asking questions about their on off, like what's their best lineup and and does White really go both ways equally well? Is she really better? You know, like I was and I, I told the team today before shoot around. I don't know if you guys have figured this out yet, but when I'm nervous, you're going to get way more information than you want because I'm looking for one more thing, one more thing that I can give them to help them be successful. Um, I mean, it was late in the last night. I was Aaron, uh, my video guy, is also kind of my analytics guy. 
I said, I need you to like analyze every lineup. What's their best lineup? Who 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 is in when? You know, will Benjamin ever play the four? Because that's the lineup I worry about the most. Um, I like her at the three. I think she stretches. You know, like just all these questions. So um, I was nervous, and you know, I, I think that's why when we were missing some gimmies early, um, some easy, you know, I'm like, okay, that's how teams you know, hang around. Um, I thought we did a great job defensively start to finish congesting their stuff. It's the first time we've iced screens consistently all season. They didn't quite know what to do with that. You know, I don't know if you guys remember after the last game, I was disappointed with how we executed when people iced our screens. And so, um, but you know, they wouldn't have any film on it because we certainly haven't done it um, to where they would have that in the scouting report that that's what we do. And they certainly probably didn't have in that we were going to play some two, three zones. So, um, you know, I, I just thought we rebounded consistently well. I think getting both White and Jacobs in foul trouble early kind of took their aggressiveness away. Um, I was scared to death of their presses. I think you can break them and get some easy ones, but I also think they can really get after you and, and turn you over. And, and uh, when you think about the number of charges we had and some of the things like that, I mean, I wanted to stay under 12 turnovers, and, and we had 13. Um, and that was – with, you know, some third string players playing at the end. So I'm um, really proud of how we took care of the ball and, and obviously how we shot it from the arc. I mean, when, we, when you shoot it well from the arc, everything opens up then. It doesn't matter what they're playing. They wanted to play zone. We shot them out of the zone. They played man. You know, we, we scored at the rim. Um, they went back. So, I mean, it, it just, it was, it was an easy game to call as a coach. Um, you get super comfortable. Um, it, really good. I mean, and I thought she was aggressive, and that was the, the key thing. Um, I think Sarah's a good enough shooter that sometimes um, she settles. You know, she settles for jump shots. She um, settles for threes. You know, we've really been diving in with her analytically on, on how she scores and where she scores best and, and the fact that, you know, with she has a little more freedom than she did last year. Um, but with freedom comes, you know, you want to score more, you get more shots than last year, but if you take the same shots you took a year ago, you're going to score more because you took good shots, you know? So um, there, there has to be a maturity about your freedom. And I thought um, she, you know, she missed some easy ones, I thought, at the rim, but I thought she put pressure on the rim, um, you know, which kind of then set up her three ball. And, and so between her and the way um, – Jana came in and shot it. You know, I mean, they're. I'm just, I'm just super happy for that kid. Yeah, I think she's, um, she's a hustler. Um, you know, I, I, I get emotional a little bit talking about it because I, I see so much of my personal journey as a basketball player, similar than Jan, a highly touted kid, goes to a really good program, wins a lot of games, but doesn't get a lot of playing time, you know, and, I, and I've, I've tried to get Jana to give herself some grace because the best thing that ever happened to me as a player um, was sitting out a year, you know, gaining that confidence, that mojo um, back. Um, because when you think about the first game she got significant minutes here compared to when she really was who, who she thought she was gonna be, she was playing in the state championship as a high school senior. You know, when you think about that being probably 30 months ago, um, it, it's different for Asia Blackwell. I mean, she's been a stud her whole career. So stepping into a new system, she's not feeling like, I don't know what I'm doing, you know? I mean, and, and so um, Jan is a really, really good shooter. Um, and I think the more comfortable she gets, the more she makes her shots, the more that makes the next play easier. You know, when they've got to come close out on you a little bit harder, that next action becomes a little easier. And I've tried to um, play her off the ball more um, when, I, when I bring her in and, and just let her get comfortable. Um, and then, you know, get some confidence in running a team um, late in a game where there's less pressure to do so. And, and so I, I think she's certainly someone that can make shots. Um, but she's so valuable to this team um, because – there is not a more positive person in our gym, in our huddles. Um, she lifts everybody up, whether she's playing great or playing poorly. Um, she's the first one to lift a teammate. And so that's why you saw so much excitement from her teammates when she was being successful. Hey, can you talk about one or two different defensive adjustments you 
Yeah, I do. Um, and, and, you know, Asia Blackwell's still sitting on the bench. Um, Dre Edwards is still sitting on the bench. Um, you know, and, and I thought, I thought we could have pushed out early if we'd have just made a few layups. You know, I thought Kendra missed a layup. Bugs missed a couple layups. I put Bell in. Yeah, I don't do that very often, you know, but Bugs missed her first three layups, and I thought, all right, she needs to take a breath. You know, she needs to take a breath. And then I put Bella in, and Bella missed her first couple layups, and I'm like, okay, you need to take a breath. Kendra, go in there. And then I'm like, so, you know, I just thought, I I'm not someone that, that pulls someone quickly if they make a mistake. I just thought they needed to take deep breaths. Um, you know, and then when you look at Bugs being 5 for 10 after starting 0 for 3, you know, and Bella starting 0 for 3 and ending up um, 4 for 9, you know, I mean, and, and misses that last one open three at the top or she'd have been sitting there at five for nine. Um, you know, I thought we could have pushed it out early, but I thought it didn't change our defensive effort. And that's the key. You can't let miss layups, miss open threes affect your effort at the defensive end. And I thought, um, I thought we got better as the game went along at our icing. We got better in our rotations. We got better in our communication. Um, you know, and, and I thought, you know, I, I was scared to death of Star Jacobs. Like, the only thing that stopped her a year ago against us was cramps because um, she didn't come out in the second half, and it took me about eight minutes in the third quarter to go, what's different? And everyone's like, uh, Jacobs isn't out there. And I'm like, where is she? You know, like you're just – you get so in tune to the game and coaching your kids that um, – so I just was paranoid. You know, I thought she'd be a huge challenge um, for our freshmen um, – because she's so athletic going downhill. With uh, the defensive effort, you guys had 14 steals today and a lot of points off of those steals. <clears throat> Was that a focus for you guys, or do you just kind of think, you know, once once you guys started getting those steals, it all started? Yeah, I think we made them uncomfortable. I mean, certainly um, they didn't play well out of the ice. Um, and because of that, you know, they didn't get downhill as much as they're used to. Look, I knew that that team was a better transition team than they were a half-court offensive team. Um, they're a team that usually presses, um, sometimes full court, sometimes three-quarter court, sometimes a one-two-two, -two, sometimes a two-two-one. But they create offense off their defense. You know, the game against Kansas, Kansas had a 12-point lead. They turn it over three times in a row, maybe four times in a row, and suddenly it's a one-possession game because they're shooting layups in transition. That's a team that gets energy from their defense creating offense. And the fact that we just didn't give them anything. You know, we didn't give them anything that, you know, you get a layup, then you press again. You know, you turn someone over, then it, then it just keeps amping you up. Um, I think the combination of, of maybe – uh, both White and Jacobs getting in foul trouble at the beginning with the quick quick two fouls um, may have taken some of their um, aggressiveness away uh, with their press, uh, but they were pretty passive. I think they wanted to play a zone, and we shot it well. Um, you know, it, I'll admit it kills me when we run a first play and we execute it perfectly and get Jamie a wide open three, and she misses it, and then the next possession down. You know, we just run zone offense and kick it out to her, and she hits a three. I'm like, dang. Like, and, and when I put the play in, she's like, oh, I remember that play. I missed it the last time you did it. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Um, but, uh, you know, I just – I think we got comfortable. I mean, we, we got comfortable, and we turned them over because we made them play to second, third, and fourth options. And then, you know, they just – they didn't have that um, – usually – in, in their losses, Jacob scores more. She's more aggressive. She has to take more shots. Um, and, and she just could never get going tonight. What was it like to see Jordan and Oh, Jordan. Um, I mean, we get to see Jordan a lot. Um, I don't think it's any big mystery that that she dates LJ. So, you know, she's, she's back in Waco a lot. Um, so it was great to see her um, in that role. You know, you love to see players kind of um, – with that next challenge. Um, I'd love to see her keep playing if she wants to do that, but um, her mom came into town because of it, so good to see her mom as well. Um, but the lucky part is we get to see Jordan pretty regularly.